Hornbill comes equipped with a wide range of roles ready to associate to your users. The number of roles available in Hornbill increases with each app that is installed on an instance, with a set of default roles specifically designed to govern access to that particular application. Most of the time these default roles will be more than enough to govern the access, but there may be times when you need a brand new role to provide or to prevent access to various areas within Hornbill at a more granular level. Take for example James here. He has been granted the Incident Management User role, but his Service Desk Manager also wants James to be able to reopen incidents, which currently he's unable to do. So as an administrator, back in the admin tool, we have access to the roles section where we can see all of the current roles that are available. Scrolling down, there is one that's available called Incident Management Full Access. However, reading the description, this allows you to both reopen incidents and also to cancel incidents, which the Service Desk Manager doesn't want James to be able to do. So in this scenario, it's best to create a new role. There's two ways of doing this. Back at the top, we can click the New Role button, and this will create a new role from scratch. However, a far easier and more recommended way of doing this is to go back, select the role that you would like to copy, which is Incident Management User in this scenario, and then click the Copy button. From here, we can simply put in a new name for our new role, which I'm going to call this one Instant Management User Advanced, and click the Create button. Once your role has been created, you can simply scroll down, access this by clicking on it, and from here you can see the current access that we have. There are various settings here, but the key one for Service Manager roles resides within the Application Rights tab. And from here, you can see a number of Service Desk specific rights that relate to the Service Desk specifically, each with an intuitive name. We're going to click here, and straight away, you can see the Reopen Incidents right, which I'm going to select. And now we've added that, I'm simply going to make it the save. Also from here, we can decide who actually is allocated and associated to this role using the Assigned Users tab. So I'm going to click on this, click the Add Users button and search for James. Just to tidy things up, once you've added James, if I click on his profile from here and scroll down to his roles, I'm going to remove the old role, the Instant Management User, from his profile. So now he's just left with remaining the Instant Management User Advanced role. And the next time James logs back into the user app and checks his access to reopen a request, the button's now available because that's been granted with the new Instant Management User Advanced role.